They are numbers that boggle the mind and they're growing. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, a million refugees have left the country to escape violence. On top of that, another 5.5 million people have been displaced inside the DRC. <inaudible> to make it worse, the fighting between militias and the military is flaring up again, forcing more to leave their homes every day. <inaudible> this woman asks why they can't just stop so people can tend to their farms and feed their children. Hunger is the other issue. About 30 million of the DRC's 110 million people don't have enough to eat. That's more than the entire population of Australia, and observers say it's being ignored. If today Australia was, all the population was hungry, it would make the headline of all the medias in the world. Here, 30 million people are hungry. No one talks about it. The Norwegian Refugee Council puts the crisis in the Democratic Republic of the Congo at the top of its list of most neglected crises in the world. Now, it's an annual list. The group factors in worldwide media attention, political engagement, and funding. They looked at 41 crises around the world, and this year, for the first time ever, their entire top 10 list was here on this continent, in Africa. The differences between the 10 countries on the short list and some other crises is striking. The media attention given to the situation in Ukraine, for example. Compare it to Burkina Faso, Watchers say about 27,000 English language news articles were written about its desperate situation in all of 2021. Ukraine gets about 85,000 a day. There are reasons, call it whatever you want, like Eurocentrism, even racism somewhere. These are strong words, but at the end of the day, we need to put name, names on it. That difference in attention means a difference in political engagement. The push to help with funding just isn't there. That's one of the reasons this list exists, to show where global crises are being ignored. The Norwegian Refugee Council says it's close to halfway through the year, and it's only found about 10% of the money it needs to help here in the DRC. Whereas when the call went out for help in the Ukrainian humanitarian crisis, it got all the donations it was after in a single day. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Kinshasa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo.